Hey everyone, this is Renee. I'm coming to you today with a Simon Says stamp haul. And I have to say, I really, really have to stop buying stuff. But, in my defense, there were a few things I really wanted. So I bought them. That's not much of a defense, is it? No. Um, I can't, there's nowhere else to buy this stuff, so... Uh, okay, some of the stuff there is. But some of the stuff is exclusive to Simon Says Stamp. And I really wanted them for a while. So, let me show you what I got. I'm sorry if there's any shakiness. I am holding this in my hand. Because you know what? I've I've realized I really like the videos my phone takes. It's easier, but I don't want to dig out the tripod. Anyway, so let me show you what I got. First of all, I got this a stencil that everybody seems to be using right now probably because it is fantastic so it's this one here falling snow everybody is using this right now and I really did like it which is why I wanted it so you've probably all seen this by now so it's this stencil now let me just move camera up a little. I'm just going to put that out of the way because it does take up a lot of space. The next thing I got was this die set, which I really liked. Um, and I've seen a few nice cards made with this. So I wanted to get this one. This is Village. Hold on. Village. The name of it is Village. So there and there. I, it's hard to unseal with one hand, but let's see. Come here. No. So I'm sure you've all seen these before too. These are super cute. And they're not... I like the way they're designed because on the bottom they don't have the cutoff. So you can... Um, if you've seen Christina Warner's videos, um, she does this nice little like city on a curve. And she uses this die. It's a nice Christmas card she made. So, um, I also, the only other Simon Says Stamp thing I got was this embossing powder, which is their Ultra Fine Gold. And I had actually had the, I think it was the WOW one in my cart, and then it went out of stock. So I got this one instead, because I really am a fan of the WOW embossing powders. So I'm going to try this one. I'm sure it's good too. Speaking of WOW... I was looking for a white sparkly um, glitter embossing powder and the one that I wanted wasn't there so I decided to try this one. I think this this is the holographic one. Let's see if it will zoom in. There we go. Hologram. Sparkle. I think this has a bit of a color to the sparkle. So it's not quite what I wanted but I'm sure it will be gorgeous. I can't wait to try that. The other thing I got was this multimedia matte because everyone's been using this too now i have a the, i use eileen's tacky glue which i really like um but it does leave a little bit of a shine if it dries and you can see it so i thought i'd give this a try and it was only 250 i think i thought about getting the jar of it because the jar was um i think 6.99 but you get eight times as much so for your money, it's better to get the bigger jaw, jar. The next thing I got were these. And these are tiny. I, they were tinier than I thought they would be. Even though I knew they were inch by inch blocks. Um, so I had wanted I wanted to try new colors. New colors of Distress Ink. So I tried these. I got Fired Brick, Mowed Lawn, Salty Ocean, and Seedless Preserves. Now... This is kit number two. I could actually um, kick myself because on eBay, I think this is last week, a week and a half ago, I had seen a, a lot of 12 Tim Holtz inks from a seller I had bought from before. And I think they ended up going for $18 for 12 full-size dies 
or dye inks, sorry. Plus eleven twenty five shipping. So it would have been like around thirty dollars Canadian for twelve inks, which is less than three dollars an ink. And I decided not to get them because because I spend too much money. But now I regret that I didn't get them because I spent ten ninety nine on these. That was before I seen those other ones. Ten ninety nine for four small ones. When I could have spent thirty dollars, including the shipping, and got twelve big ones, and it included this color, and this color, and maybe this one. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm still happy. I'm sure these are fine. And the other thing I got, the last thing. And again, this is something everyone's been using, and I really wanted to try it. And that's the Wink of Stella brush pens. And I bought the clear one, because I think that's the most versatile one. So let's see. And focus. No. There we go. Shimmer with no mess. GL Clear. 999. Or... 666. Anyway, um, I went to the supermarket the other day and my total came up to $6.66. I thought that was kind of funny. Anyway, this is my haul. I'm sorry, you can see my sleeve in the corner. Um, thanks for watching and uh, what's your favorite product from Simon Says Stamps? One of their exclusives, like a particular die or a particular stencil or stamp set. What do you like most from there? Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you later. Bye.